One day, Max and Min's dad came home with a box full of plastic toy soldiers a friend had given him. Look at these, kids. Richard said you can keep them. Why don't you count them to see how many of them there are? Max looked inside the box with excitement to see that there were many toy soldiers. There are a lot, Dad. How should we count them? I'll help you. To count big numbers, we can count them in lots of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Another ten makes twenty. Another ten makes thirty. Another ten makes forty. Then fifty. Sixty. Seventy. Eighty. Ninety. One hundred. Ten lots of ten equals one hundred. In video K.1.5, says Max, we learned how to count all the numbers up to 20, but what are the numbers between 20 and 30, and between 30 and 40, and so on? Well, continued Dad, to count between 20 and 30, we just add the numbers 1 through to 9, like this. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. For the numbers between 30 and 40, we do the same. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. The same between 40 and 50, and so on. We just keep adding the numbers 1 to 9. Do you think you can count between 90 and 100? That's right. 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. So Dad, says Min, are numbers always counted and written in this order? Well, Min, replied their dad, the same numbers are always next to each other but we can count forwards or backwards. We can easily see this if I draw a straight line and put the numbers on it. For example, to count forwards, that is, to the right, from, say, 46, one more is 47, one more again is 48, and so on. But if we were counting backwards, that is, to the left, from 46, one less is 45, one less again is 44, and so on. We call this a number line. Now you can watch this video again to practice your counting to 100. 
or try the quiz and look at the chart that comes with this video.